Yeah. Kind of do, talk about football for the game. No, yeah, absolutely. I've been eager to play, eager to hit somebody else. Um, we've been grinding all off season, all camp. Uh, I'm just ready to actually play a game. Another football game, another opponent. Did it remind you a lot of your own offense when you see Yeah, that's they're definitely that. They're, they're really similar to our offense, uh, which helps us out because we go against the best every day with Deshaun, Wayne, our our, our skills got skill guys on the outside, our other line. Um, so it's definitely an easy transition for us. Uh, there's definitely they'll throw in some wrinkles um, in their offense, but it's it's pretty similar. Um, well, they, they, know, they named Sean White the starter, um, and he's had a lot of plays where he's been mobile on his feet. Uh, I think he surprised a lot of people. Um, so I think whoever they play with Sean starting, if they bring in Franklin or they bring in um, the other guy, they're all going to be athletic and have a good arm. So we're prepared for anything. I remember you last week you were impressed with Sean White uh, before he was named starter. Can you talk about you know what you've seen? That's why you're so impressed with. Uh, he's just a confident player. I think he's really confident in their system. Uh, he can make a lot of throws. Um, I don't think he's he's obviously not like I'm not trying. He's not as athletic as the other two guys, but he can make just as many plays with his arm um, and his feet. Uh, like I say, he surprised a lot of people with his, with his feet and how mobile he is. Um, but I think the reason probably why he won the job because he's more knowledgeable and more confident in their system than the other guys, um, and he's made more consistent plays. Uh, so we're expecting that. Um, that help us or hurt us. I don't. I don't really care who they play. They're going to be a quarterback at the end of the day. They're going to manage their offense. Um, so it, it doesn't affect me or it doesn't really affect our defense. You guys, a couple of years ago, you played at Georgia to start the season. In what ways has the program maybe matured or changed in approach to that type of road game to start a season in the last two years? Um, I don't know if we've matured. I mean, I've obviously matured. Cause we've been through the fire. We've experienced a lot of things. Um, playing in this environment is definitely different than opening up with Walford and Apsit like we did last year. Um, but I, I think if you narrow it down and simplify it the way I do, it doesn't matter. It's just football. Um, and I think our guys, a lot of our guys on our defense and our team have like come to terms with that and grasped, have thought about it that way, that it's just football. If you block it out, no matter where you're playing at or who you're playing, uh, football is the same. It's the same X's and O's, uh, regardless of who your, your opponent is. Um, and I think a lot of our guys are doing that. And I, that's, that's that's probably the main change um, from now and then when, it, when we played Georgia. A lot of guys were focused on how we're playing Georgia. And now it's just a football game, just an up here. Knowledge, uh, I think uh, knowledge is power. Um, we always the talents are always going to be there, um, and there's there's I think the the strides they're going to make on their physical level and talent level is going to be minimum. Um, I think that what separates a lot of great players is just their knowledge of the game, um, and I think that's that's probably the main area of improvement of our defense. Yep, absolutely. I think that's been a topic over the entire summer, uh, fall camp. Um, I, I think that's, that's true. To tag on to that, you just yourself, Kendall and, and, uh, uh, and Jalen have experience at linebacker. What about guys like Trey, Trey Lamar, the new guy coming in? Uh, what have you told him for? Like going to the game and the, what to, just how to Respect. get ready for it. Um, I mean nothing. I think he he he's a mature guy. He kind of knows what to expect. Uh, I'm kind of my thing, just kind of helping him out mentally, knowing what to do. Um, I think he'll be uh, ready for the environment, ready for the fire. Um, 
I, I don't. There's not really much I have to tell him. I think it's just it, for him too. I think it's just a football game for him. Um, he's mature enough to know that the the lights and cameras um, aren't going to matter between the lines. It's just football. When you looked at the Auburn, I know last year they even despite their quarterback issues, they still rushed for about 200 yards a game on the ground. What do they do so well running the football that makes them so difficult to stop? Um, there's athletic guys. I mean, I think they're just as good at running backs as they are quarterbacks. Uh, they're really mobile on their feet, and a lot of plays on their offense are designed for quarterback runs. Um, so I, it's probably the main thing, they just probably had a bunch of big plays, too, why they probably had such long yardage. Um, but they try to incorporate their QB running game uh, as much. They, they like to run the ball, as simple as that. They like to run the ball, whether it be uh, them doing jet motions with the receivers, uh, regular running game with the running backs or, or QB running game. They just like to incorporate the run game in their offense, whoever it may be. Is it different in the sense the way, you know, Tony and Jeff run the offense that comes as far as the running game goes, or is it very similar in how they try to attack the run game? Uh, no, pretty similar. They like to like to spread it out. They like to get their skill, their skill guys the ball, uh, whether it be on the outside or in the box. Uh, I think they'll – uh, find any way to run the ball, and they're going to pass the ball. They have skill enough receivers, and they have enough confidence in Sean White's arm. But they're going to probably be pretty even uh, running and throwing the ball. Um, so I think we're we're ready for anything they throw at us. You mentioned the pre-snap motion. A lot of the people have to distract you. Is, is there a team that you face that's similar to that, or just constantly maybe the, the best off, the most comparable offense that you face? Um, yeah, facing our offense is probably the best way to prepare. Um, they're so similar just with all the motions and just trying to make it more of a mental game, just kind of get lined up and reading your key. Um, so just fall camp was probably our, our best preparation for them. Same question about their offensive line. They run a zone, a zone three uh, scheme, a zone blocking scheme. And what, what offensive line you guys faced last year you compare them to? Um, I, I think they're pretty similar with like Syracuse, uh, NC State, uh, teams that like to run the ball. Um, they're going to block you regardless. It's not really a scheme or uh, something you have to prepare for. They're going to they're going to combo block. The llama are going to try to get them on the backers, uh, and it's kind of my job to get out of the trash. Um, at the end of the day, it's just football. I mean, people try to uh, diversify, and they do one thing, they do this thing. It's football. They're going to block you. They're going to run the ball. They're going to pass it, uh, and you got to find a way to defend it. Uh, and that's our job. Um, they block it one way or block it another way, I, I don't really care. They're going to try to block me and they're trying to score touchdowns. I try to simplify it as much as possible so it's not a mental game. Uh, so I'm able to play fast. Um, but I don't really think of it like, oh, this is one blocking scheme and this is another. Um, we're going to try to run the ball and try to pass the ball and I'm going to try to defend it. Just trying to make plays. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's definitely my, one of my last openers, my last season here. Um, so I'm just going to make the most of it. Like, it's kind of the same thing uh, my sophomore year when I got to start against Louisville. That was my first opportunity to start in the game, so I was going to make the most of that opportunity. Um, yeah, it's kind of the same MO for my senior year. It's my last opportunity to play at Clemson, so I'm going to make the most out of it. Um, and I, that's definitely the strides I've made. It's definitely more mentally than anything. Um, I'm not out there freaking out, not knowing what's going on like I was my freshman year. Freshman year, um, so it's, it's that, and just mentally, just being more comfortable in our system, uh, comfortable in Coach V's defense, um, and the game's just not near as fast as it was uh, my freshman year. All good. Thank you, gentlemen.